Hello, this is DeWitt, producer of Getting It In. Yo, what up? This is Chris Cooley, and I'm with John Caesar, the one and only. If anybody tell you any difference, they the phony. You know, we no, doing no, it real, real large in no, Buffalo. No. I'm on the DeWitt show, DeWitt Lee. You know, I'm with my man. He holding it down. We doing big things in Buffalo. That's man. what it is. Word, man. Oh, and definitely, definitely naughty. You know, we in Buffalo. We, you know what I mean, recording. That's right. Um, um, I heard you did the D Get Rich or Die Train with well, 50 Cent. I didn't do it. You know what I mean? Like, I was like a background in it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I wanted to be 50 Cent. Yeah, could you movie. tell me how you collaborated on that film? Well, basically, you know, I was like living up up in Canada, and I uh, was trying to make money. Uh, my boy DeWitt let me know that. Uh, is this audio gonna mess up? Yeah, you good? You good? Okay. Don't even worry right, about that. That's you know, background. This good. Buffalo, you know how they do. Nah, we official. We so um, professional, definitely. I feel you. All right, so um, the get rich or die trying. You know, I mean, it was a background role. I don't even think you can see me in the movie. Um, but if you want to see something with me. In it, not just in the background, you know what I mean? Put you gotta, on, put you gotta on, check out you gotta check out the Romans movie coming out 2013, Knuckle City Films. I played Big Earl in it. My whole life. My ultimate passion was to serve God. And help those who are blind to God's power. Some believe in God. But are unwilling in giving up certain freedoms fun and dark opportunities my faith does not rest on men's wisdom my faith rests on god's power as yours should lord have mercy lord have mercy on me <laughs> Working on, you know, I got a project coming out that we're shooting right here. It's called The Romans. Right, um, right. Through Knuckle City Films, I was blessed to uh, to get a role, leading role as Earl Roman, and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the movie. Um, I play the uh, Godfather of a mafia family here in Buffalo, um, and my son is a pastor, and so I'm supporting him. I bought him a church, and I'm supporting him. And uh, what happens? I don't want to spoil everything, but what happens? Uh, I end up getting taken out, killed in the movie. So you don't want to give nothing away. You just gave that away. I I think I think you'd be a little, a little reckless with the, with the storyline here. Well, I want to give them like know, some basics to, no, so they can come and watch it. You know what I mean? So, like I was saying, um, I'm a um, I'm a gangster in it. I uh, play OG gangster in it, and my son is a pastor, and I end up getting killed, and my son has to decide if he wants to take over my business or continue with the cloth. Also, uh, in Toronto, I'm also uh, doing a play called No God Can Ever Forgive Me. Um, we did it uh, at a church that I'm a part of. It's Global Kingdom Ministry in uh, Scarborough, Ontario. And I um, also play uh, uh, a criminal in jail, uh, the main character, uh, I'm the main drug dealer of, of the jail. And, the, and this play is about uh, guys that go to jail and they find Christ. So uh, very good, very blessed, very good to uh, be a part of two immaculate um, things that's going on, and also uh, Queen City, uh, which was shot here in Buffalo with Vivica Fox. Have a part in that. That will be premiering uh, November the fourth at UB. You can go on and check my Facebook and get all the information for that. That was directed by uh, Peter McGinnis Jr. and uh, so, you know, I have a lot of things that's going on and, uh, you know, I wanted some serious roles because a lot of people just know me for the comedy, but now I, I believe people will be able to see a different side of John Caesar. Um, I have jokes, but I also, like I said, I graduated. You kill people. You also kill people. <laughs> I graduated <laughs> from performing arts, you know. So you got diversity. Yes. That's yes. beautiful. That's beautiful. Speaking of diversity, um, when I think of the word diversity, I, you know, I, I think of Toronto and... Um, and I, and I know you mentioned, you know, some work in Canada, mm -hmm. um, you know, that really, that whole experience deserves a book. And, uh, it, well, I mean, think about it, you know, I mean, just think about all the different things 
Um, and anyone has, has made the transition from here to there, you know, really can create some kind of um, leave a legacy of what we what we both, you know, had to endure. Um, and, um, you know, I encourage you to do a book because I know I'm in it. Some I, like chapter one of the I'm, somewhere I'm in it. Somebody got to spell the words right. I'm, I, somewhere I'm in it because I'm if it's, if if you're going to do an autobiography, certainly you know I find mm -hmm. myself in it, and uh, you know I, I was I was happy to watch things happen and and um, tell a little bit about to the people who are listening um, about stepping into uh, you know a world where um, you may not see a familiar face, mm -hmm. you may not be a recognized face, mm -hmm. but you have a drive inside that. Um, propels you to move forward? Well, I mean, through the grace of God that, uh, you know, I met Brother DeWitt and, um, you know, some of the things that was booked up there that he, he booked me and uh, a lot of um, comedy spots and, and uh, he was actually, he helped bring me to the Lord, you know, because he got saved and, you know, I followed in his footsteps and, and, and got saved. And uh, yes, it was, it was very, it was very hard because I wanted to be the first you know, actor comedian to go to Canada to actually make it. Uh, a lot of comedians come from Canada and they come to America and make it. And um, you know, I wanted to be that first one to to go to Canada to actually make it. There's a lot of filming, you know, that I did up there, uh, background scenes, you know, background work that I did up there. But it was very, it was very hard. I it was mean, hard. The way it could even tell you, you know, I was homeless. For, for a bit up there, um, I stayed in his office, stayed, you know, slept on this floor, and uh, like through the grace of God, uh, you know, he, like I said, he brought me to God because he got saved, and you know, I, it's the first time I ever really tried to follow a man, and I followed him, and I, I got saved, and you know, it's been going strong ever since then. Wow, you know, you brought me back, I didn't think, I, I didn't expect you to bring me back um, like that, man, on camera, but you know, it's true, we all, we, we all had to, um, do whatever we had to do mm -hmm. to make it to the morning light. Yeah, you know, butter and jelly but, sandwiches. But, uh, <laughs> but you know what? It's it, it's such a it's such a worthwhile experience. Um, and you find out what you're made of, you know. And I think, um, you know, I think people you find out what people are when they have stuff, and you find out who people are when they don't have stuff. At least you find out who you are when yeah. you get stuff, and you mm -hmm. find out who you are when you don't have nothing. No. Uh, nothing. You find had, out what I you're had, made of. I had Nate Daniel. <laughs> you know, so. so now you know, um, and you, you talked about doing some films. I, I know the Hulk was one of the productions. And uh, yes, uh, the Man of the Year. Yeah, uh, you can see me in that with Robin Williams. Um, I did a lot of background work up there. The Sixteen right. Blocks, player cab driver, and that um, get Richard Dyer trying. I'm uh, one of the technicians by the speaker. Um, you might not know this because it was so dark. Um, Man, there's so many stuff right, right. that I did up there, and I, you know, I actually wasn't supposed to be right. working like that right. up there. You know? I, I think I think we're gonna uh, stop right there in regards okay. to you know yeah. talking about what we had to do so we can get it in. All right. Um, but you know, I do appreciate you bringing you know bringing us back to a, a Christian focus because mm -hmm. um, this is getting it in, and this is about Christians on the grind for mm -hmm. the gospel. So yeah. um, you know, I know there were a lot of a lot of days where you know you really felt charged to. You know, incorporate the gospel in your work, um, and you know, with this play, you certainly find you certainly executing that yes. and pursuing that. Um, but with the stand-up co comedy, mm -hmm. I know that's something that you know you, you certainly cut your teeth in, and, and mm -hmm. you know, and recognize around the world for. Um, how is that progressing and, and really taking a stand for God in the comedy scene like that? Well, it's 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 really you know through the grace of God, you know, I give God all the glory because He's allowed me to to do Christian set. He's allowed me to, to go to Yuck Yucks and, and do a blue set. And as long as I, I get that message across that, you know, that I am a Christian, a young Christian in this, um, I think Steve Harvey uh, has said it as, you know, well, that God is still working on him. So, you know, there is some shows that I have to go to and I, I warn my Christian friends not to come that night because, uh, you know, it's a paycheck. You know, uh, one of the promoters in Canada told me, he was like, I hope you're not going to get all churchy with my crowd, you know what I mean? And, and and that really struck me, it really hurt me when he when he said that, but I still had to get that paper, and, but, you know, I'm not that nasty on stage, but, you know, for the crowd, if I'm losing the crowd, you know, I might, you know, throw in a little sit on it buckle, you know what I'm saying, or up your, up your nose with a rubber hose or something like that, but, you know, I try to, like I said, my personal life, I'm a Christian. You know what I mean? And you see me on screen playing a gangster or, or, or a pimp 
or what have you, you know, that's just a character that I'm portraying. But if you want to come kick it, kick it with me, off, offset, you know what I mean? I'm a Christian, and uh, I'm, I'm kicking the word straight to you. So how do you, so t- t- we have a few minutes left. Um, how would you, what kind of words would you give to to uh, two young Christians who um, are interested in the entertainment mm-hmm. field? You know, from comedy all the way to to, to modeling. Mm-hmm. Um, how how do they go about um, standing for Christ? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, feeling that feeling obviously that the, you know after the pursuit of fame and and, and profit, mm-hmm. you know, but how do you find that balance and and um, and what has worked for you? And and mm-hmm. if you, that this would be your close, so please okay. give it to them. Well, basically, I would just tell them to quit now and get out the business because it's all about me right now and let me get my money first. No, I'm I'm just kidding. I, I would just say put God first and, 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 and everything will work out. If you are serious with doing this, you have to put God first. If it was not for God, I would not be here today. So if you really and truly, you know, you know, I live and I sleep and I breathe this. But the problem I was having before was I was not putting God first. Once I started putting God first, everything all the doors started opening up for me. So I would say modeling, poetry, acting, whatever you're doing. I don't care if you're a construction worker. I don't care if you're, if you're, you know, pick, if you're a bum picking up a piece of paper on the street. Put God first, and everything's going to work out. And that's from your boy, John Caesar. I'm just blessed. I'm just, I've been in this for like 25 years. I'm just now getting my bills paid through the grace of God. You know, you got to put you, God first. You got to put God first, and everything's going to work out for you. Yo, God bless America, man. We out here. One.